Okay, uh, I just wanted to talk about the MSC archaeological practice. Uh, I thought I'd do that by uh, talking in a bit more detail about the practical archaeology module, which is just one module that's offered as a core module within the programme. And that practical archaeology module runs in the second semester. It runs as a long module across the whole of that semester and it gets students engaged in fieldwork and in practical archaeology, as its name suggests, right from the outset. So students are involved in things like, uh, well, to begin with, risk assessments and health and safety, necessary introductions to the world of professional practice. But very rapidly, they're involved in things like coastal erosion recording, walkover surveys, topographic survey, field walking, uh, things like faunal assessments, so looking at animal bones in laboratory conditions, doing paleo-environmental work on soils and on pollen work in the landscape, uh, and then uh, in things like test pitting, so actually getting down and dirty and doing a bit of intrusive archaeology as well, so we do some test pits um, on a uh, big Iron Age site. Uh, in Orkney. Uh, and so students are steeped in this very sustained engagement with the stuff of the world of archaeology right from the outset. But even at the end of a, an academic year, uh, then you, you've got a good, you know, that's you get such a good understanding of the whole broader picture that you can start sort of finding your niche and your direction into a certain period that that draws you towards it, you know, and, and I think that's the strength of the course, really, you know. I think one of the things about this course is that uh, it provides you with a really sustained understanding of of the, the, the range of materials, landscapes and sites that you might encounter um, over a longer period in a, in a prospective career in archaeology. And it allows you to tap into all the many different modes of archaeology in terms of uh, there's obviously there's the research side of things, the research archaeology side of things is very strong as an ethos within our course, but also there are things like uh, the fact that we have the county archaeology service on our doorstep, so we have the curatorial or cultural resource management side of things involved in it alongside of us as well. And then for that matter, taking it uh, to its fullest extent, we've got the, the, the commercial side of things as well, commercial and research side of things represented by ORCA, the Orkney Research Centre for Archaeology. So effectively a, a jobbing field unit in the, the Institute as well. So with the, those three very substantial areas or walks of life within professional archaeology, students are embedded and steeped in that environment from the outset and throughout their masters. And I think that provides a very strong set of active, engaging uh, lessons for students. Yes, I definitely recommend it. Um, I think if you've got the inclination to do a master's, this is a brilliant place to do it. Um, you've got access to some of the, the greatest archaeological sites in the entire country. You've got access to some of the greatest experts um, in their respective fields. Um, if you're interested in Scottish uh, archaeology in general you just can't you can't, can't think of a better place where you're actually physically right in the middle of all the archaeology and we like to think we're very approachable and accessible and so we're always very very open to discussion and if people want to come along and have a chat with us about things um, related to archaeology and indeed about their potential place in archaeology if you've got uh, the, the the wish to come and study archaeology at whatever level, then we're very uh, interested in hearing from you. And so you can email us, you can uh, phone us up, or you can come in and speak to us in person if you're able to, and uh, come in and have a chat with us about how you can figure in the great things that are happening in the Archaeology Institute.